What's up everyone, Tavius here, and today we got some Warlock Arc 3.0 action. There is so much to cover with this new update, but I want to share with you the build I've been using with my Storm Trans Warlock and the updated version of the Chrono Tempest. First we'll go into detail with the aspects and fragments, then we'll go over the armor and mods, and last some weapon recommendations. If you enjoy this type of content, you already know what to do, so let's begin. Like I said, we're building this around the Chrono Tempest, so we're going with the Storm Trans Super, but more on that later. Both Stormtrance trees from before the 3.0 update got combined into one. On super activation, we also get teleportation by pressing B, and also the shockwave underneath you when you cast your super. Great for casting when surrounded. For our melee, I'm using the chain lining melee. This melee also jolts enemies, which will come very handy. Jolt is one of the new verbs introduced. The target is charged with destructive arc light. As they take additional damage while jolted, they chain line into others. Similar in a way to Volatile added to Void and Scorch added to Solar. Also, this grenade becomes enhanced when amplified. Amplified, another new verb, increases your movement speed and weapon handling and after sprinting for a short time, your speed is further increased. Fast kills with arc damage makes you amplified. And this is for both weapon or ability, so will be amplified a lot. And for a grenade, I like the Pulse Grenade, but totally up to you. Okay, now let's talk about our aspects. The Arc Soul aspect, well, pretty much the same as before, except now, when amplified, the Arc Soul becomes supercharged and gains an increased rate of fire. Cast your Rift, and Arc Body joins you in battle. For the second aspect, we got Electrostatic Mind. Defeating targets with Arc abilities or defeating Jolted or Blinded targets creates an Ionic Trace. So this aspect will help us get constant Ionic Traces. Ionic Traces are Arc Energy that travels to you and grants you Ability Energy. Also with this aspect, collecting an Ionic Trace makes us Amplified, which will enhance the chain lining of our melee, and also supercharge our Arc Soul Buddy. I tested the new Lightning Surge aspect move for the Warlock and it's super cool looking and effective, but it's more beneficial for the build having the other two. Now let's talk about Fragments. First I have the Spark of Focus. After sprinting for a short time, your class ability regeneration is increased, so we'll get a Rift back even faster. Next, the Spark of Magnitude. Your lingering arc grenades have extended duration, benefiting our Pulse Grenade, but also Lightning and Storm Grenades if you like to use those instead. Moving on to the Spark of Shock, your arc grenades jolt targets. We already know that defeating jolted targets creates Ionic Traces with one of our aspects. And the last one is the Spark of Discharge. Our weapon's final blows have a chance to create an Ionic Trace, so more Ionic Traces for our abilities. Let me know how you like this set of fragments down in the comments. Also, if you can do me a favor with the algorithm by liking and subscribing to the channel, it'd be greatly appreciated. And that's the subclass, moving on to the armor and mods. The Crown of Tempest, Exotic Helmet, Random Drop, and recently updated to include a new verb. Here it is. Conduction Tines. Arc ability or Jolt final blows increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. Conduction Tines also increases your super recharge, not by much, but it does. We will be jolting enemies with our grenades and with our melee, so any of those skills will activate this exotic perk. For the mods, I have Ashes to Assets to get bonus super energy on grenade kills, then Harmonic Siphon to create orbs of power with rapid arc weapon kills, and last Elemental Light to create arc elemental wells with our Storm Trance super kills. Moving on to the arms, I've equipped an Overload Bow and Font of Wisdom to temporarily max out our Super Recharge Rate by picking up Arc Elemental Wells. Wells that most of the time we won't even have to pick up with the Seeking Wells mod on my chest piece. They just come to us, just like the Ionic Traces. Also remember that Elemental Wells also gives us Ability Energy, same as the Ionic Traces. Getting wild over here. On my chest piece, I also have Thermoshock Plating from the Seasonal Artifact to reduce incoming solar and arc damage, and a Sniper Damage Resistance since there's some annoying snipers in the new Seasonal Activity. For my legs, I have Orbs of Restoration to grant Ability Energy to the ability with the least energy by picking up Orbs of Power. also have a Linear Fusion Rifle Scavenger for my heavy weapon, and Elemental Armaments to spawn Elemental Wells with arc weapon kills. And last, for the class item, I have Distribution to reduce all ability cooldowns when using a Rift near targets, which will happen a lot, and Font of Might. Picking up an Arc Elemental Well grants a temporary bonus to Arc Weapon damage, so which Arc Weapons are we gonna use? 
there's just so many good options. Uh, Thunderlord just got its catalyst and it's a beast for sure. Plus it has intrinsic overload champion. My choice of exotic for this build is Trinity Gull with catalyst. It's just so much fun to use and so effective against all the fallen in the seasonal activity. You could also run Savage Salvo, the ritual grenade launcher with chain reaction. So good. Or the exotic trace rifle Cold Heart, which got updated to constantly spawn ionic traces. Even Wrist Runner is a great option. For the kinetic slot, I went with a Riptide Stasis Fusion Rifle because I have a threshold for super energy with kills. And I just really like this fusion rifle. If you're into pulse rifles, you can do bad juju with Savage Salvo and get all the super energy. Plus, pulse rifles have an unstoppable mod this season. For my heavy weapon, I went with the Duality Dungeon Storm Chaser Linear Fusion Rifle. But like I said, you can do Thunderlord or one of the two new legendary heavy weapons, Machine Gun or Linear Fusion. They're both arcs so you get all the benefits. So with this Warlock Arc 3.0 build, we'll be collecting Ionic Traces and Arc Elemental Wells non-stop, recharging our abilities and our Stone Trend Super extra fast. Both our grenade and our melee will jolt enemies and finishing them up will generate Ionic Traces. The Spark of Focus aspect will regenerate our Rift by sprinting, while the Spark of Magnitude will extend the duration of our Pulse Grenade. Our Trinity Gold Exotic will generate Ionic Traces constantly with the Spark of Discharge Fragment, and also Arc Elemental Wells with the Elemental Armaments mod. Wells will increase our Intellect for faster supers with Font of Wisdom and refill our abilities. All of this gets even better with the help of our improved Chrono Tempest Exotic Helmet. And there you have it guys, I literally just ran through a nightfall before I made this video like it was a regular strike using this build. Constant rifts and arc souls, ionic traces and elemental wells, plus fast supers. This arc 3.0 update feels a bit busted, but I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. I have content information down in the description box, Discord community, merch store, all that good stuff. I want to thank you all for watching, my name is Tavius Place, and if you'd like to watch other cool builds and informative Destiny 2 videos, you can click here.